We're here in, at Auto Mechanica in Germany and what we have done uh, as a company is we have developed what we say is the quietest roof rack in the world. Uh, this has taken over four years of uh, innovation and aeronautical design to get to, to that point. So what, and we've spent a lot of time using the Canterbury University to, and their wind tunnel to develop the product and to, to prove our point. So what we have here is a wind tunnel that can generate speeds up to 160 kilometres per hour. And on the screen here we can actually graph the uh, spectrum test of the acoustic noise and, and you'll be able to see the differential and the spikes which prove where the, our noise is much less than anybody else. So what we have here is we have four uh, spaces on the, on the bar on the, this, this machine and we put in here no bar which therefore gives you the impression of what a roof sounds like with nothing on it. Then we have three other bars. Uh, we have the WIS bar, which is <coughs> uh, Hubco's product. We have an aero bar, which is very common in the European market and, and the world market. And we have a square bar, which is also a very common product used for, uh, for roof racks. So what, what I can do is uh, start the machine. You, can, you will then be able to hear the noise that, uh, that, that happens from the machine, and then you'll be able to put each bar through. So if we start the machine and we'll run it at start it at 100 kilometers per hour. So we have the, the machine starting up. Select the the roof which has uh, nothing nothing in there, just the roof noise and we record the the noise that is made by the wind going over the roof of the vehicle as it travels. And there you can see the line, the acoustic line that is generated by a vehicle. We now select the, the next bar and as you can see it now gets into the wind flow and we record the sound that this bar makes which is in actual fact is whisper which is our product and as you can see from the graph we actually are very very close to noise the normal noise level made from a vehicle we then select what we call the European aero bar and you have two things one you can hear the noise actually being generated by the bar in the wind and we also now can record that noise and as you can see there's quite a spike and that spike is the, is the whistle that when you're driving gets in your ear because your ear is only literally inches away from where the bar is actually sitting on the front of your car. We now go to the select the other bar which is called the square bar and again you can hear that, that high pitched whistle and we can record that and you'll see the spike on the screen here, very high. So you can see the differential between the three bars is quite huge, and even for the, between those two, whereas our bar, the WIS bar, actually uh, almost flat lines and come below, comes below. You'll hear a differential in noise as I increase the speed, take it up to 120, and you can hear that whistle gets higher. And select the that bar, and you, you can certainly hear that deviation of the noise. We come down now to the whisk bar, and there is virtually no noise uh, that you can hear at all. I can push it up to 140, and again, no noise generated by the whisk bar. huge wind tunnel and has been proven by the way that we are able to sell to uh, the motor companies 
that are looking for a quiet bar because it's the main complaint that happens in wind, wind noise with roof racks. Thank you.